Welcome to Standing for Jesus Ministries. Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise His name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. Oh, I'm so glad He died for me. And now, thanks to Him, been set free. Stand up for Jesus, I'm gonna stand up for Jesus, I'm gonna stand up and praise his name, I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. And now let us hear the word of God. Standing for Jesus Ministries is sponsored in part by McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Welcome to Standing for Jesus Ministries. I'm very thankful to have the opportunity to be back to preach to you again. But before we get into the message, I want to ask you to be very much a prayer for my wife as she comes and sings for us. And we'll be back to get into the message.
God for that song. We thank God for another day of life he's blessed us with. And we're truly thankful to be back on the air, hoping that maybe we could say something that might touch somebody at home. We had to uh, go off the air for a little while, but we're back, and hopefully we're back to stay for a while. But, you know, we was talking earlier and everything, I was telling my wife, the one thing I do know for sure is that God called me to preach the word. And he says to be instant in season and out of season. Ready to rebuke, reprove, with all long suffering. And that's all we want to do is be pleasing unto God. And we hope that you enjoy the message today. Like I said, we're tickled to be back on the air. We want to be a blessing to you. In 1 Peter, 3rd chapter, about the 12th verse, the Bible says, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. His ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? And when I began to read that today, I got to thinking that a lot of people try to complicate the gospel, the good news. Amen. And the good news is Christ and him crucified resurrected, sitting on the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and I. God's eyes knows everything that we do. He knows the very hairs on our head, how the numbers of them. He knows everything that we will do down the line. But knowing that man is sinful, knowing that we're all of a sinful nature, now we're not going to try to come up with some big fancy message or anything, we just simply want to tell you that listen, if you're in your sins and on your way to hell, that there is an escape. And that escape is Jesus. Amen? God knows what we have need of, and he's willing to provide. Listen, but no one day, I believe the Lord knows what we have need of more than anything when he sent his son to die on an old rugged cross. Brother Mike Ian, listen, when he went to die, Listen, he hung on that cross. They were the murmurs that he made. Listen, they begin to mock at him and they begin to say, Listen, if this be the Christ, listen, why don't he save himself and come down from the cross? We'll believe him then. Listen, but it wasn't meant to be. Listen, the Bible says, as a lamb led to the slaughter, he never opened his mouth. Listen, but one thing that he did do, listen, he did the Father's will. He told him, he said, for this cause I came into the world, that I might lay my life down. Listen, he said, but I'll not only lay it down, but I've got power to raise it up again. Listen, and the Bible says, listen, that on that third and appointed day, listen, they might have thought they put Jesus in the grave. They might have thought listen that everything was Alyssa took care of now. The church leaders of that day the people that rejected Jesus thought they got rid of him. Listen but there was a day listen that the Bible says that the stone from that old tomb was rolled away. Listen and Jesus came forth victorious. Listen I'm going to tell you something. Listen Brother Mikey. He began to go. Listen he was seen of his disciples for many uh, uh, times out there. Uh, uh, listen, but there was a time uh, uh, that he was seen. Uh, I think the Bible says of about five uh, of the over hundred people, I believe. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but I know. Uh, uh, listen, that he began to go up into there and he told them, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Be uh, uh, listen, reprove, rebuke. Uh, uh, we know with all long suffering. Uh, uh, listen, he told them. He said, I go away uh, and I'll prepare a place for you uh, uh, that where I am, you may be also. Uh, uh, listen. I get tickled down in my spirit knowing listen that one day after a while listen that this life right here ain't all I've got to look forward to listen the Bible says if in this life only we have hope we are being most miserable listen it's a miserable time down here people listen I would kill you for a dollar bill listen these people could care less whether you live or die but I want to 
to tell you something. Uh, uh, Jesus cares uh, about what state you're in. Uh, uh, Jesus cares uh, about the drunkard. Uh, he cares about uh, a list of the one that stays high all the time. Uh, he will cares uh, a list for the ones that think uh, they've not got a friend in the world. Uh, uh, he cares for you. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and he proved that he cared for you when he went to that old rugged cross. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but I want to tell you something. It was not only that he went to the cross, uh, uh, but that he was resurrected uh, that third appointed morning. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and I want you to know, uh, uh, listen, when he was resurrected, uh, he resurrected for our justification, my friend. Uh, uh, listen, that we might stand before God justified uh, if we would only believe uh, uh, that God sent him uh, into this world. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, that we might have eternal life. Uh, uh, listen, that's how you're justified. Uh, uh, that's how we're going to be justified before God uh, in this old world. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, uh, you can look anywhere you want to look, uh, uh, but until you look towards Jesus, uh, uh, you'll not find peace of mind. Uh, you will not find peace in your heart. Uh, uh, listen, you'll not be able to uh, uh, listen. You'll not be able uh, to find uh, anything that's going to satisfy the soul. Uh, listen, there's a lot of things in this world today uh, that are pleasurable. Uh, listen, the uh, Bible says that they uh, this pleasure in sin, uh, but it's for just a little short season. Uh, listen, uh, there's nothing in this world uh, worth giving. Uh, listen, your life for. Uh, listen, in this world, uh, and dying and going to a place uh, that was created for Satan uh, and his angels. Uh, uh, listen, uh, it wasn't created for you, uh, uh, but the Bible says, uh, uh, because uh, of all belief, uh, because of disobedience, uh, because of people rejecting Jesus as their Lord and Savior, uh, uh, that hell's enlarging their mouth uh, to receive them that are going in. Uh, uh, listen, uh, heaven's big enough uh, uh, for the whole world if it would only come to Jesus. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, we're living in a world today, uh, uh, listen, where everything, uh, uh, listen, Everything uh, that people uh, are looking at, uh, they try to make some excuse. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, because of this uh, or another that. Uh, uh, listen, I want you to know, uh, uh, listen, there's only one way to heaven. Uh, I don't care. Uh, there have been many called religions, uh, but there's one way to heaven, and that's Jesus. Uh, uh, the one that died. Uh, uh, the one that allowed his hands to be nailed. Uh, uh, listen, like a lamb led to the slaughter, he never opened his mouth. Uh, uh, listen. I don't believe they had to force him down. We preached this many a time. I don't believe they had to force him down to that old cross. I believe he laid his life down freely. I believe he laid his arms out. I believe. Listen. When he said, listen, Father, it is finished. Listen. The crucifixion. Listen. The death that was prophesied that he should do was finished. But I got news for you, my friend. It was a new beginning uh, uh, for a lot of things. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, Jesus said that he gave his life for ransom for many. Uh, uh, listen, I was one of them. Uh, uh, you're one of them. Uh, uh, listen, uh, until it comes to the time that one person, uh, uh, one group of people, uh, maybe the last people to ever hear the word preach, uh, until that happens, uh, uh, you and I, are the ones, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, that he died for. Uh, he died for the sins of the whole world. Uh, uh, listen, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, listen, uh, it's not uh, about you. Uh, uh, listen, uh, it's uh, not about, uh, uh, listen, what kind of church you go to. Uh, it's about knowing Jesus uh, and your personal Savior. Uh, it's about having a personal relationship with him uh, uh, knowing that you passed from death on the life uh, because you love the brother. Uh, uh, listen, I believe Paul in his writing said, uh, uh, listen, uh, he said, I do those things that I would not. Uh, and I would not those things that I do. Uh, in other words, uh, I hate that he, he hated the things uh, that he once uh, uh, loved. Uh, he loves the things he once hated. Uh, uh, listen, uh, are you the love of Jesus down inside you, your love, uh, your worst enemy. Uh, you can't help but love them. Uh, you can't help but tell them that uh, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, you can't help but tell them, listen, uh, that you don't have to die and go uh, to a devil's hell. Uh, listen, uh, too many times we get wrapped up uh, in these things. Uh, listen,
this and uh, we get wrapped up in uh, uh, church uh, uh, doctrines uh, and all this stuff. Uh, uh, listen, it all it's going to matter uh, when it comes down. Uh, it don't matter uh, uh, what name you got over a door somewhere. Uh, uh, what's going to matter uh, is that your name has been written uh, in the Lamb's Book of Life. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, it's going to be, uh, uh, listen, uh, it's going to be uh, a terrible time for a lot of people uh, uh, when they examine before God uh, and the books are open. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and the Bible says there'll be many, uh, uh, listen, that will hear the words, uh, uh, depart from me, uh, ye that work iniquity. Uh, I never knew you. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but listen, uh, uh, those that are looking for the coming of the Lord, uh, uh, them that are getting rooted and grounded in God. Uh, uh, listen, one day after a while, uh, you know what you've got to look forward to? Is to hear him say, welcome in, now good and faithful servant. Uh, uh, listen, that he made a promise to you and I, uh, that if we'd be faithful over just a few little things in this little life, uh, uh, he'd make us ruler over many. Uh, uh, listen, uh, but it ain't about that. Uh, uh, listen, uh, it's about seeing Jesus. Uh, it's about going. Uh, uh, listen, uh, he said, I've gone to prepare a place for you, uh, and I will come again. Uh, he made that promise to you and I, uh, that he will come again. Uh, uh, listen. We're living in a world today. You look at our government, what they stand for. Our government, listen, I don't want to hear. They leave God out of everything. Listen, they leave him out of everything. Listen, the people today are leaving God out. Listen, because they don't want to be accountable. But listen, whether you want to be or whether you don't want to be, each and every one of us is going to have to stand and give an account one day after a while. And you know what will keep you out of heaven? is turning Jesus away as your Lord and Savior. Listen, there's many people today that think they're on their way to heaven. Listen, and not realizing they're just fooling themselves. Listen, because they've got some kind of religion in their head that they go to church and I'm a good person, that ain't good enough. You must be born again of the Spirit and of the water. Now that's what the word said. Amen. I read of a place in there where there's a man named Nicodemus that came to Jesus at night and began to talk to him. Now listen, that Jesus told him, except you be born again, Nicodemus, now listen, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Now listen, and Nicodemus thinking in the old natural mind, beginning to say, I'm an old man. How can I be born and enter a second time into my mother's womb. And Jesus began to tell him, I said, Nicodemus, listen, that which is flesh is flesh, but that which is spirit is spirit. Listen, Jesus comes inside the old heart. Listen, he comes in. Listen, he makes you a new creature. Things you see different. You can hear things different. Now listen, and you'll walk and talk different. Now listen, if you'll only let him be followed. Now listen, you'll only follow him. Not, not all these religions. Not all these hearsay things. Jesus said he's the way, the truth, and the life. Now listen, and he said no man comes unto God except through him. Now listen, you can't take out the middle man. You can't take out the one that gave his life. Because Jesus said, listen. Listen, that he laid it down and he took it up. And guess what? He got, he said, when he went away, he said, all authority was given unto me. Listen, from his obedience to the Father, listen, all the authority was given unto him. Listen, it is Jesus that's coming back one day after a while. Listen, to receive them that are ready to go. Listen, them that has made their mind up that heaven's going to be their home. Listen, that that's the one just coming after. Uh, listen, we need to be ready. Uh, we need to get uh, our coats clean. Uh, we need to have our robes washed uh, in the precious blood of the Lamb. Uh, listen, we need to be uh, uh, ready to stand. Uh, uh, listen, against the wiles of the devil. Uh, we need to be ready, my friend, uh, to tell somebody uh, that Jesus is the way. Uh, we need to tell somebody, uh, uh, listen, that you don't have to die and go. Uh, 
to that awful place. We need to tell somebody that there is somebody out there that cares for you. Somebody that is willing, listen, to reach down when there's no hope seems to be. Listen, God will be there. But we got more than a hope, my friend, in this life. We have a promise the God said he would never leave us or forsake us. And he'd go all the way, even to the ends of the world. Listen, hold on to God's promise. God cannot lie. And God said, the slackness, as some men count slackness. Listen, he's not slack concerning his promises, but he's willing. Listen, more than willing to save you. Listen, you can't be too low down that God can't reach down and get you. Listen, but you've got to do something. you got to reach up. Listen, you've got to ask him. And if on authority of God's word, he said he'll not turn away. A praying heart. Oh, how do you pray? Listen, the Bible says that you must realize that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And if you're seeking God, listen, I want you to know he's there with outstretched arms. I want to take you in his arms. Listen, he's wanting to take you in his arms. He's wanting to let you know, listen, that there is nothing, no satanic powers out there uh, that is able to pluck you out of God's arms. Uh, listen, uh, I want you to know uh, uh, listen, today is the day of salvation, uh, uh, not tomorrow. Uh, uh, none of us has got a promise uh, uh, to draw another breath. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but the only promise we got uh, is that Jesus said he'd go all the way with us. Uh, I mean every step. Uh, uh, we don't have to walk nothing alone. Uh, I tell you what, uh, uh, sometimes it seems like you're down and you're out, uh, but you're not out. Uh, uh, God said and that he wouldn't leave you. That's what he meant. Now listen, you might be down and seem like you just can't go another mile. Now listen, but I want you to know sometimes in our weakness, the scripture says that God is made strong in our weakness. Now listen, you know why? Because sometimes, now listen, now we leave God out of the picture. Sometimes we forget to pray the way we should. Sometimes we forget to be reading the word and studying. We get our minds on the world things. Uh, listen, uh, and before you know it, uh, uh, we're leaving God out. Uh, uh, listen, but I'm going to tell you something. Uh, uh, God has to be first. Uh, his eyes are on the righteous. We read it just a minute ago. Uh, and his ears, uh, uh, listen, they're not so short that they can't hear. Uh, his eyes uh, are not dim where they can't see your troubles uh, and your trials, uh, especially if you're lost. Uh, uh, listen, uh, well, people today, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, letting these strongholds that the devil's got on them. Uh, uh, hold them down. Uh, uh, listen, I don't care what it is, whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs, uh, uh, whether it's lust, pride, uh, or whatever that stronghold is. God is able uh, to break that stronghold, uh, and he's able to pick you up. Uh, and listen, uh, who knows? Uh, listen, what God might have prepared for you. Uh, listen, uh, God might have. Uh, listen, you. Uh, but one thing I do know, uh, the Bible says that, uh, at the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. We ought to have a testimony. The Bible says to be ready to give every man an answer concerning your faith. Listen, can you tell somebody that you love Jesus? Listen, if you can, you're blessed beyond measure. But if you can't, listen, you can. Listen, under the sound of my voice, I pray. Listen, that this message is touching your heart if you're lost and on none. Listen, or maybe in a week condition. Uh, listen, because I know that God is stronger than anything uh, that the devil could ever bring against us. Uh, listen, we got to realize uh, that today uh, listen, is the day of salvation. Uh, tomorrow may be uh, the very day that we stand before God. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and no those books will be open uh, and be judged according to the works uh, uh, done in our body. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, my even says in Corinthians uh, it talks about uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, some men sins. Uh, uh, listen, uh, going on before them, uh, and some following after. Uh, I believe it's in John. I mean, uh, uh, listen, but nevertheless, uh, it's the word. Uh, uh, listen, but God said uh, uh, that if we would hold on to him uh, uh, with everything that we got, uh, uh, listen, the Bible says uh, teaching us to not grab a hold of the plow and look back, uh, but when we grab a hold of the plow, hold on with everything that you've got, uh, uh, that if we look back, we're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and 
did something, but that God saw fit for old sinners and old ragged people like us to come and die. And loved us enough that he come and died for us anyhow. Listen, knowing people was going to reject him, knowing that they was them that was going to turn them away. Yet he still loved us enough that he came and he done it. Listen for you and I. I'd like to encourage you as we get ready to wrap this thing up. Listen, I want to encourage you, my friend, to get a hold of Jesus and hold on. Listen, little preacher, what do I got to do? You've got to believe in your heart. Listen, that he is who he says he is. And you've got to accept him your heart and you confess that with your mouth. For the Bible says, with the heart man will leave it unto righteousness. Uh, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Uh, if you can believe that in your heart uh, and confess that to a lost and dying world, uh, uh, listen, I'm telling you, uh, uh, you can walk away a new person uh, and you can be a new creature in Christ. Uh, but you've got to want it. Uh, amen. You've got to want it. God's eyes is on you. Remember that. Uh, uh, listen, His eyes is on you. He sees the good and he sees the evil. Nothing's hid from God. Listen, nothing's hid one day after a while. Although people will say today, well, if I die and go to hell, I want to have a lot of friends with me. Believe me, you ain't going to have no friends down there. Listen, because if you go there, you rejected the greatest friend that you could ever have, and that's Jesus. Amen. Listen, he's prepared that place for you. And you've got a right to go. But you've got to accept him. Listen for what he is. And he is the son of the living God. Of the sacrifice. And it took away the sins of the world. Listen, when we accept him for that. Listen, I'm telling you something. There's not enough devils in hell to keep you from accepting him if you want to. Not made to believe, Brother Mikey, you've got to want it more than life itself. If you don't, listen, it'll do you no good. A lot of people say, well, preacher, I've tried to live that life before. Listen, let Jesus live it in you, my friend. You can do it. The Bible says, I believe in Paul's writings, he says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now listen, I want you to know of the same God, a listen, that did all the miracles back in the old Bible, a listen, that rode the sea back for Israel to cross on dry land, is the same God today that will save us and set our feet on the right path. Now listen, and He won't just send us there, but He'll lead us through it if we'll only let Him. Listen, and that's what it takes. My prayer is, my prayer is, listen, that you will receive him if you don't know him. Christian, you that know Jesus, listen, hold on with everything you've got. Pay attention to what's going on in the world today. God is ready to come back. I believe with all my heart at any time, a father could say to the son, my children suffered enough. Listen, they've been mocked, they've been talked about. Uh, you go and get them and take them home. Uh, and then where are you going to stand, uh, a lost person, when that happens? Are uh, you going to stand without hope uh, and without uh, anything? Uh, but because of you rejected Jesus, uh, the only way of salvation. Uh, they try to teach you everything in the world today, all kinds of religions. But I'm going to tell you something. Uh, a religious mind can take you to hell. Understand what I'm saying. A religious mind can take you to hell. But get Jesus in your heart. And you're on your way to heaven. That's a promise from God's word. And if you endure to the end, that's what the Bible promises me. He said, if I endure to the end, that I'm going to be saved. Lost person, I hope and pray. We said something that might help you if you're watching the lost. Christian, hold in there. And I'd like to say this. If I never meet or have another chance to preach on TV again, I hope to see everybody in heaven. And we thank you for tuning in and watching us. we got a prayer list, and there's uh, numbers on the TV if you, uh, if you need prayers. If you need to send in prayer requests, we got the numbers there. Call in and let us know. We truly believe in the power of prayer. 
you pray for this program. We run about five years there before. Hopefully we can go longer this time. If God wills it, we know we'll be able to do it. Thank you and God bless you.